going to do a second one of the fantasy fair because I'm a little bit intrigued by it. And this will be number two. We're going to go ahead and de-render all this stuff. Yes, it's blasphemy, but I don't care. I don't want to be... It's a bit in your face, all this. Give to this. Give to this. No, I don't want to. All right, where am I? I'm at Sapala. So I, I got one of these little HUDs for free that you get at the landing point. And it's great because you can just go down the list and just have a look and see what you've... um. Oh, wow. What you've already been through. Like life, really. <laughs> fairy child. and Fairy child? How do you say that? Ferric? Ferric? Can I, I can't read. It's way too early in the morning. This is beautiful. I love this. I'm in the mood for this. Look at these rocks overgrown with stuff. I want my backyard to be kind of like this, to be overgrown. Look at this. It's so pretty. And I'm all alone. Am I? I hope so. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not. Look, there's all people here. Okay, but I don't know where they are. They must be above me. Above as below. Um, yes, I am a jellyfish. I have no backbone. <laughs> yes, it's, it's ironic. Uh, yeah. Look at this. It's beautiful. I bought this a while ago. It was, it was a fair amount, but I'm like, nobody else has this, I hope. Then I saw it in a flicker pick and I'm like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is great. Okay, so what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I did a video before, but I thought oh, I'll do another one because the other one said a few, a, a few things that were a little bit controversial, a little bit too much for people. Uh, but I'm going to say what I was saying in my other video is that uh, the one that I, the, I just deleted um, in regards to putting shit on your profile that is has a lot to do with what's wrong with you. And I think that that in here in SL seems to be uh, a kind of theme with people. I'm wondering if misery loves company. For example, I was in an event yesterday. I clicked on a few profiles because I love that. I love looking at profiles, seeing what people are into. And then usually or sometimes I have a link and I do this big deep dive into this creative stuff that they're into. Or I'll IM them and I'll go, wow, that's really interesting. Tell me more. And they'll be all too happy to tell you or they'll be a little bitch and they won't reply, usually AFK or whatever. Or they'll be introverted. <laughs> I'm so awkward and introverted. Like, don't put that on your profile, okay? So people do this. They're like, I have chronic pain problem. I have ADHD. I'm autistic. I'm da 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 all this shit in the first page of their profile. I'm like, why do you want to have other people? Is it a warning? Are you trying to push people away? I don't understand it. And if I did question these people, they'd probably get all bitchy at me or they wouldn't, um, so they wouldn't reply to me at all, which pisses me, I just, it pisses me off. If you're gonna put that shit in your profile, like I did that one time, this person had, I don't like drama, which obviously is like, yes, you do, bitch. You love it. it. Whatever you put in your profile is the opposite. So no drama, thanks. Good vibes only. So I messaged this woman, whatever, and I said, well, that's, and, and she's like, the person who I talk to must be this, 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 and this. And she had all these parameters. <laughs> and, I, and I messaged her and I questioned her about it. And she's like, well, I don't have to prove anything to you. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to prove anything to me. So block me. You can totally do that. Why is this, why is it not going? What, what? Oh, please. Oh, come on. Don't crash. What is, there's a pathway. I can see a pathway. Is, is, am I getting this wrong? Maybe I am. Um, and I questioned her about it. And I said, well, that's, you, you have all these prerequisites for people who you'll even talk to in here. Why? do you list them and what are you going to give if I'm going to talk to you? And she's like, uh, she got all shitty with me. And then she contacted the owner of the sim I was in and they objected me, of course, because I was in a commas harassing this retard. So anyway, I don't know why. Can someone please explain to me, like legit, why you put all your disorders on your profile? Is it because you want to meet other people with the same disorders? You want to just be embroiled in this misery? You don't, don't want to ever get, get better. better. You know, for example, like I have a fear of flying. 
it's a legitimate fear and I wish I didn't have it. I don't even want to say that I have it on like I don't because when you say it, obviously it reinforces that thing. Whenever anybody says, oh, I want to go travel, and I have, I've traveled to a lot of different countries, but it's always like this big like anxiety ridden kind of thing. Do I have that I have a fear of flying in my profile? Fuck no. I do not want to, you know, uh, attract other people who have that same phobia. Like, fuck that. I want to do a fear of flying course. I'm doing that soon. Um, also, you can actually um, challenge your phobias on a VR headset by doing a flight simulator thing. And, oh, what are these? Oh, my God. What? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Oh, shit. Oh, she looks pretty cool. Oh, that's cute. Um, I'm just going to stand here and see what she says to me. Um, but no, I would not have that. I don't want that. And I don't want to attract people with the phobias that I have. I have a fear of confined spaces. I don't like elevators. Again, I shouldn't even be saying it because I don't want to acknowledge it. I want to get over this. I want to go in lots of lifts and elevators. I want to travel the world. I want to do all this shit. If you say, I've got pain and I'm awkward and I'm introverted and, and pe you're going to attract the people, so you're going to stay in that that negative kind of, I'm, I'm disordered and this is my whole identity. And I just, I wish people like this, I'm going to say it, like I wish people like didn't exist like that in SL because it makes SL this mental illness soup. Like we're just eating this, the bowl of neuroses and, disorders and shit like that which is kind of like you know like in like social media anyway I've got mental illness I'm so mentally ill yeah okay fine that's not good but let's nip it in the bud and stop celebrating it because it's not doing you any good anyway that's my rant it's not really a rant I, I just like talking about stuff like that because I think that it's whenever anything is making you stuck in a mind I don't want to say mindset so the fucking incels say that Ugh, when that way of thinking, you're gonna maybe, but that's the thing, right? Maybe they don't want to change. It's like how many, how many psychologists does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> it it depends if the light bulb wants to change, right? So you can. <laughs> so I don't think these people want to change. So, all right, forget what I said the last. 10 minutes of me talking about disordered thinking and shit like that. You guys don't want to change. You want to, misery loves company, yada, yada, yada. Keep putting it on your profile and that's fine. I, I don't really attract misanthropes. I've got that on my profile. I repel people. My, my goal is to repel all the retards, all the fucking bitches who are, act, are acting fake in here and I don't want any fake shit which is ironic because SL is completely you know phantasmagorical I don't know I'm 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 a I'm I'm a mixed up bean <laughs> I'm a mixed up bean what am I I don't know it's this philosophical questioning of our existence and I'm doing it in a virtual world while nothing is resing my god so come down to the fantasy fair and um, <laughs> have, have a bit of a think about your disorders. Edit that profile. Start attracting uh, contributing members of society <laughs> if there are any left. I mean, I am. I, I, I'm a contributing member of society. I pay my bills and my rates and shit like that. Uh, I, I am a functioning member of society. Functioning and contributing. Well, I wait for this fucking sim to load. I'm going to just do some wind lights before I log off. Because I love, I love, I love it. Yes, yes. Rino, she has a lot of wind lights in here. And her wind lights aren't really that great. Not going to lie. We'll do the pink. Will we do the pink? Or we do the pink dark? Oh, there's dark blue. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I do like a bit of cloud action. Anyway, so that's me talking about what I like and what I don't like in here. And don't be that person. So, yeah, I will. I will question you. I will IM you because if you know if you put something on your on your profile that's public, I think people should have a right to um to question it. 
if you don't want to reply, then you that's a beautiful thing in SL. I'm not going to come to your house and scream at your face, am I? I'm behind a fucking keyboard. You can choose to to just mute me or ignore me, block me, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to tell the the person running an event that I'm at just because I'm messaging you to eject it. Like, that's faggotry of a fucking higher proportion. Like, oh, I fuck. I'm so angry at people in here sometimes. It makes me so mad. But at the other side of the coin, it makes me kind of like there's so much more work to be done, you know? I'm not I'm not touching my sweet spot of my wind lights either. Everything is going wrong. Oh, here we go. All right, that's that's a little bit of a consolation kind of sorta, but I want the I want the water to be green, so I'll fix that later. Anyway, Stop with the disordered thinking, man. It's, you know, you can, you know, relay that, like, reveal that later on in a conversation. I mean, maybe these people that have all these disorders want people to feel sorry for them. I, I couldn't live in a life, in a world like that, where I was a victim and in need of, of sympathy constantly. It would make me feel very, very small. And who wants to feel, I mean, again, I mean, it could be like, like, okay, okay, just, just before, before I go, I'll, I'll just, just tell you this quick story, okay? One time <laughs> at band camp, one time uh, my neighbours were going away on holiday and they had this budgie, a, a bird, right? And the bird was very awkward and introverted, we would say, and they had like, they had a cup at the bottom of the cage where the bird could hide and it was constantly dependent on this cup at the bottom of the cage and my mother, <laughs> she's like, fuck this, this bird needs to live. I think that's where I get my opinions from, like my mom, she's very opinionated. And, and so she's like, fuck this, this bird is not having, it's not living its best life, yeah? So she took the cup out of the cage and she replaced the cup with a little mirror that she um, hooked onto the side of the cage. I hate this, oh, this is, it's not resing at all. Um, and... A, a day or so later, the bird, because it didn't have anywhere to hide, it crept up onto its little perch and it looked at this mirror and it thought it was a little friend. And so it started to chirp and sing all these beautiful songs and we were enamoured by it. And so that's, I mean, get out and, and socialise, I guess, is the moral of the story. <laughs> but the, my mother cured the bird of, of its uh, neuroses you know? Anyway, that's a story. This is not resing. Oh, maybe I should just stop and like let it res, but it's not really that great anyway. Anyway, I'm going to go. Come down if you want. Um, have a squeeze and I'll talk to you soon. Sayonara, bitches.